ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But well, you're so high. Oh, man, you know I ain't high. But well, you're so high. Yeah, well, I just take a little sip every now and then. But well, you're so high. Hey, kids, welcome back. Cheap ass hat cam, which is no longer a cheap ass hat cam. But anyway, I'm doing something totally new today. Um, I got, as you guys know, I love restoring boats. I'm going to be doing a video on this one very shortly. Uh, we've got this beautiful thing here. We got the gas powered Rockstar, gas powered Neptune, a couple cars and stuff, and a bunch of boats over here, a bunch of boats over there. But anyway, what I got is this beautiful vintage, probably late 80s, early 90s, um, monohull. Tunnel hall, sorry. Uh, K and B 7.5 outboard, huge engine, outboard engine. And the thing that is different about this video than other ones is that I bought this boat. I'm not gonna. Uh, I suppose we can take off the uh, the cowl here. Um, I bought this boat, and I think it was hanging in a bar. I 3D printed some cover plates. This is where the servos are. This is where the radio is. Antenna, obviously, it comes up to the top. Gas tank. I redid everything, um, but I did not repaint it. I didn't do anything, but I cleaned it. I scrubbed it quite a bit, um, and it turned out absolutely awesome. I love the fact that it's an old school vintage. Uh, it's just perfect the way it is. It's got a couple little uh, paint bubbles here and there, which I covered with stickers. Uh, we may, maybe Lincoln and I will repaint this this summer, or this winter, I'm sorry. But um, it's like one of the few boats I've restored that I've left stock. Okay? I did replace the servos. Excuse me. Put new radio in it. I 3D printed an adapter plate for the servos. Cleaned out the gas tank. Uh, refitted all the lines. Cleaned out the carb on the engine. And cleaned the hull considerably. Uh, but as you can see, we got everything hooked up. And works great there's your carb all right i have not fired this boat up yet so that is one of the new things that i'm going to do i literally have not even put fire to this i need my roto twister hang on ah and a vape all right hang on so um all i did was i don't even remember I took the high-speed needle, screwed it out like five, and flushed out the um, the low-speed needle. And we're going to see if it fires up. I don't have any water cooling hooked up to it, so we can't run it long. But I just want to see if she fires. Excuse me. The compression is really good. Um, it should be, should be a rock star. I don't know if it will fire right up. But we're going to find out. We've got our handy-dandy starter. Now, remember something. These motors... If this was an RC car engine, it would be cranking this way. Outboards go the opposite way, which is a little bit different than uh, what a lot of us are used to. So we're going to try it, see what happens. Everything's, I swear on my kid's eyes, I have not fired this up yet. So let's see, let's rotate her up a little bit. I have a 4S on my starter. Ooh. Ah. I think I might have flooded it when I started. Ooh, I need a bigger cone for this guy. Let's see here. So, yeah, that's the right way. Let's pull the plug. And I'm doing this more for the new guys because this is where it starts. When you deal with a vintage machine, this is what you've got to do. you got to reset to factory settings. And hope everything works okay there's our ring we're gonna go ahead and put this this back in but just a little bit just to make sure she's gonna spin I think I had flooded it when I uh, put the fuel in so we're gonna crank that back down Let's see if it'll spin now I think my battery might be weak let's see I know this is a pain in the ass but this is what it's all about. So I'll take this battery. I need a bigger cone on my starter. The starter's kind of weak. I have never tried. I've got other outboards, but they're the 3.5s, not the 7.5s. Let's find out. Wow. All right. Let me see. Um, let me see if my other starter works. It's going the opposite way. 
but if it works it's got a bigger cone on it we might spin it around yeah it's gonna be better so let me flip the cable on this and I'll be right back all right and we are back so I basically reversed the direction on the one that I use for my airboat which it was was for airplane so it should spin that way which it does so let's make sure it'll rotate this guy okay so I still think I need a bigger it's still a little flooded beautiful so what we're gonna do and I do this a lot um, I actually will start the motor with the plug loose because what happens is if they're flooded okay it will relieve some of that pressure so we're gonna see if this guy fires up so we're gonna put the igniter on and we're gonna back off on some of the pressure and we're gonna see if it fires up getting there let's turn on our booster okay see what happens now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this thing probably hasn't been started since the 90s so we're gonna squeeze the trigger while we're starting it nice very very rich so we're gonna bring it in a little bit and I did bring I the reason I know it's rich even though it's this cold because the engine's not warmed up yet is because it was shooting gas out of the car but it's usually a good sign all right so let's see I'm thinking we're still rich so I had brought the low speed needle let's go on this side so we can see what we're doing here so we're gonna go one two two and a half okay and I bet that'll work now the engines already warm I'm not gonna run it too much just because I don't have coolant on it we might take it over the hose and hook it up see what happens all right that's a good sign we know it runs so i think what we'll do is we'll take it over we'll hook it up to the garden hose so we can get some coolant on her so we're going to take it off of that we'll put the coolant line on there we'll take it over there and we'll fire it up be right back all right we are hooked up to the water line so here we go i have it hooked up to the garden hose into the head it's going to come around spit out here so we're going to fire it up first get it going and then we will turn on the water we're going to get it warmed up and then we're going to tune her a little bit okay let's see what happens should be pretty straightforward Ooh. So, way too rich. We're gonna bring it in a half a turn. Look at all that water. Doesn't need to be that much. About like there is perfect. And we're gonna bring this in a full turn, okay? My cup got wet. That's a problem. There we go. All right. This is what you go through.
We are getting there. I have never run this engine before, so I should probably look up the stock settings. But she's nice and cool. I'm not worried about it. That's enough racket for tonight, but she does work. Everything's good. I am impressed. I'll turn everything off. And there we go. So that's half the battle. We get it to the point where it's going to idle well and accelerate. And then we'll put her in the water and we'll tune her up from there. You can see uh, that's a lot of oil. Uh, part of that was after run oil and part of that was just starting off too rich. But it's better to start off with a vintage engine too rich than too lean. So uh, hopefully we'll get this in the water this week amongst the other 18 boats I need to maiden. And uh, hopefully we'll see a run. So until next time, kids, bam, keep shiny side up. Bye.